Happy Friday, y'all. Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina with a quick fishing report for your weekend outlook. Right now, we're excited. It is final Friday, the last Friday of every month. We have a big party here inside John's Pass. Plus, we've got great weather coming in. Plus, the fish are biting. Plus, we've got some great fishing opportunities before the weather gets a little nautical this upcoming week. So, some exciting stuff to talk about. Spring is in the air. Fishing is going really well for us, and it is a great time to get out there on the water. Near shore right now, we've been seeing some exciting things going on. The mackerel, the mackerel, the kingfish, they're back, and we're starting to see quite a few of them even trolling on our five hour half day, trolling out on our 39 hour, 44 hour. You got a great shot of the mackerel. I just saw one bust over my shoulder, very distracting. Uh, and then also we've seen the kingfish show back up already too. So you not only have a chance to catch mackerel, maybe a kingfish trolling out on a five hour half day, 39 or 44 hour, but while flatlining on a five hour or 10 hour, you got a good shot for those kingfish too. So good opportunities on the pelagic side of things near shore as well we've seen the hogfish slow down a little bit but we're still catching a couple and we're seeing some nice action on the lane snapper the mangrove snapper fat red grouper in the deeper near shore water so what's interesting this time of year those 10 hour trips generally through the cooler months we're fishing shallower 40 50 60 foot of water really targeting those hogfish really hammering them hard this time of year we go a little deeper we aim out there closer to that 60 70 80 90 100 foot mark and we're fishing also for the hogfish but also start to see some of those red grouper more frequently and really that red grouper bite has been pretty stellar for us uh closer to that 100 foot mark near shore and bigger lane snapper and more plentiful mangrove snapper too so some great options out there lane snapper mangroves red grouper hogfish maybe mackerel maybe kingfish lots of action near shore offshore right now excited as well offshore because it's almost april 1st and you know what april 1st brings with it the end of that 20 fathom closure or deep water closure it's over april 1st that means we have a lot of flexibility to fish as deep as we want wherever we want as much as we want and we're going to be catching those fat red grouper those big scant grouper we see a lot of those big trigger fish fat mangroves we're seeing a lot of yellowtail snapper right now we're seeing a handful of those african pompano you've got a chance for those blackfin tuna wahoo kingfish up on the trollers and on the flat lines as well often this time of year we might see a cobia you might even see a big mahi mahi occasionally this time of year as well so a lot of pelagic action fat red grouper on the bottom lots of mangroves good chance for yellowtail we're seeing a few big scamp and we should see more now that that deep water closure is open uh over and uh we have that opportunity to fish wherever we want so near shore's hot offshore is going really well it's just about finding that weather window and we have a nice little weather window uh the end of this weekend and start of the coming work week looks like we're gonna get some really good opportunities to get out there tuesday it's gonna start picking up a little bit wednesday doesn't look so great and then it's gonna calm down for us thursday so really your best chance to go fishing this week looks to be saturday uh monday uh remember we're closed sunday so if you have your own boat sunday's a good day but probably hanging out with family got stuff going on right it, it's, it's easter so easter sunday we are completely closed but monday looks really good saturday looks really good and then tuesday hopefully we'll see out there uh, on the water because tuesday is kind of the last good day it's going to start picking up a little bit but uh could potentially start getting a little too breezy for offshore but near shore should be pretty good tuesday and then it gets nautical wednesday got to take a little bit of a break uh inshore right now we're seeing a lot of snook action snook action going really well for us redfish starting to school up pretty heavy we're still seeing the trout hang out a lot of uh a lot of the sheep's head around the mangrove snap are starting to displace the sheep's head a little bit though we've seen a lot of spade fish return to john's pass which can get kind of annoying you're targeting those redfish snook or sheep's head and then all of a sudden you get a big spade fish but they're fun they fight really hard and uh it's good to see them back once again flounder action spot Body, but it is persisting uh pompano pompano are a big thing right now behind us at the jetties 
fishing for pompano during the day at night targeting those snook and trout so good opportunities here inside john's pass if you're not out fishing with us to get out and do some fishing inshore hopefully we'll see you out here also tarpon have shown back up sharks are starting to get more prolific as well so Good time to get out there on the water. Don't forget, Final Friday tonight. Also, every Sunday night, 7.30 p.m., we have our live stream show, but not Easter Sunday, y'all. We're gonna take Easter Sunday off. So no live show Sunday night, but hopefully we'll see you out here on the water. Don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. Y'all have a great day, tight lines. We'll see you soon.